Jim White here, Sky Sports here, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I've came back today to tell you that three right backs who had fit perfectly into Anne Paul's Group's Celtic team. But we're also hear that Anne Hickey, Celtic have made the official bid of 3.5 million and that has been rejected by Oba Longa. Um, more news to come in Sky Sports, that's me, Jim White, Sky Sports. Yeah guys, welcome back to the channel. Hopefully I've enjoyed that, just to be a nice wee intro again. Today's video, obviously, as I said, three right backs would fit perfect into Ange Postcoglu's Celtic team. Uh, it's all fine and well moaning about the Celtic, uh, about you know, Celtic and Ange Postcoglu's right back problem. So that's exactly what I did not long ago. But solutions are what get the people going, right? Um, we we know Postcoglu's tactics by this point from reading. However, from watching, we've got a better view of what the Greek Australian needs from his teams. Inverted fullbacks, i.e. fullbacks who occupy uh, inward spaces so as to keep a uh, back line compact um, are the name of the game while Ralph and O'Connor still have potential in that role. Uh, it's nothing It's nothing. Uh, something they're necessarily used to. Uh, therefore, someone who can be plugged in with experience of operating in a high press and uh, with extra attacking responsibility would be a huge boost. So who fits the prof that profile? Clearly, what's needed is vers versity. Uh, a background in playing higher up the pitch, plenty of space, uh, pay, sorry, and experience in more complex ta tactical setups um, are into the year. So um, I've got you three exciting options here uh, on the channel today, guys, I thought in this video um, of what Celtic potentially could go for a right back. First up is Clement Michelin, the star for League Un's surprise package. Uh, RC Lens were one of the Europe's surprise teams in 2021, uh, the 2021 season. Uh, after being promoted, uh, little was expected in the non French side, but they ended up finishing seventh, and it could have been even better for them. Uh, with quite a youthful squad at their d disposal, RC Lens turned heads uh, with their tactical suit uh, manager Frank Hayes. Part of their rise up to the French, French top flight was net consistency of right back Clement Michelin. A headline writer's dream. Um, Michelin, who made the France Olympic squad, is just 24 and finds himself at Lens after coming through to at Toulouse, where he played alongside Celtic defender Chris Julien and striker Odson Edward. A former French youth international, Michelin had his best season in 20, 2020 uh, 21 season. He had played 28 times across all competition, bagging four assists. He uh, used the right right in my field as well as a centre back, Michelin could be perfect as a, a roving right wing back in the front of a two or a three man, def man defence. An ex excellent cross of the ball which we miss, we need, you know what I mean, we need. Uh, he's capable of patrolling the right flank and fast paced side which is great as well, we need that as well. With his contract expiring in 2022, Celtic could take advantage before Michelin's stock continues to rise. Um, moving on now to Jan Koto, could City Group help Ange Borkoglu's Celtic? But now it's hardly uh, outlandish to suggest that Celtic have been benefited from an informal relationship with Man City. Only Cham, Jason Denier, Paget Roberts, John Guidetti, you know the rest, it's well worn path by now. Um, and well Celtic supporters, my, myself included, were, will be against the idea of an hour loan move to fill the gaps. Hear me out, Jan Koto could really be good for Celtic here. Right, let's just hear me out here. The Brazilian youngster, um, signed from uh, Corridbach. Uh, in the summer of 2020, was immediately loaned out to City Group uh, athlete Girona SC. It was easy to see why the citizens signed the right back. At the under 2017 World Cup, he created more opportunities than ever, any that any other defender as Brazil won the whole thing. There you go. The pro productivity um, was seen at a very decent standard. It was Girona in La Liga 2. Kuto was a standout from the right back position. He created five goals and scored two across all competitions. Kuto's performances even land him honours, named it the best right back in the division. You know? So that, you know, he's still unlikely to be com competing for a place in Osley Gardiola's first team. With the numbers we need in uh, a loan move, might work well for all concerned here. He's not a, a long term fix, but his attacking pros from fullback would make him an ex excellent temporary addition, I think. Uh, moving on to the last one now, guys. Um, Robert Gummy. Is Ange Postcoglu Celtic more in an attractive position? Uh, uh, sorry, proportion. Um, now here's a name you remember. In 2019, Celtic were linked to Polish right back Robert Gum uh, Gummy, uh, formerly of Lake Poznan. Reports in Poland suggest the club hadn't actually made a bid in the end. Uh, and so Gummy moved to Germany, played for FC Augsburg, 
Another full back is Kate Watt on either side. The former Lech uh, Poznan player had a successful main maiden campaign in Bundesliga, averaging a tackle and 0.8 interceptions a game uh, last season. Gummy might not be the finished start though def uh, defensively. Was he? What he was uh, showing though is real ten uh, tenacity. Highlights via sports um, sports illustrated shows he's capable at least at last. Uh, last ditch stuff, recoveries and clearances, but he's also like likes to attack the byline and wreak havoc upon opposition defence, which we need, you know, go down the byline or attack it and cross, you know, something that we need to have discussed here with the right backs here. Um, he's, he'd be an excellent uh, overlapping option, which would suit Ant Postal with Celtic, having inside forwards coming in to support our main striker. Full backs will be de uh, depend uh, upon the both attack and defend. Uh, watching Gummy's game, he's still a raw as asset. However, after establishing himself in the Bundesliga, it seems clear he's a very good fit indeed. So yeah, that's guys. That's a video. It's three right backs that would fit perfectly in the end Portugal who's Celtic team right now. I feel any of them players would do. You know, it's tough to decide. Of course, it would happen. You know, it's a big risk. But I think them right backs would be suited. Any of them. You know, you know, um, over. You know, attacking wing backs, defensive elastic tackles. Um, such as that, you know, and hopefully guys you enjoyed the video, it's just something different today I thought I'd do, subscribe and like, and I'll see you guys in the next video, peace.